Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're describing working principle of transformers. We'll explore how the, the secondary current can increase primary current without any direct electrical connection between the two circuits. A transformer is a static device that changes the voltage level from one circuit to another without affecting the frequency or power. The relation between primary and secondary current can be determined by this simple equation. But to truly understand how the secondary current impacts the primary current, make sure to watch this tutorial till the end. When the primary winding is connected to a power source, the current begins to flow through it. Since the secondary circuit is open, this current is referred to as the no load current. I not. This current is responsible for generating the magnetic flux and causing no load losses in the transformer. The magnetic flux created by this current is called the main flux, which links to the secondary winding through the core and induces a voltage E2 in the secondary winding. Because this flux also links to the primary winding, a back electromotive force E1 is generated in the primary winding. According to Lenz's law, this back EMF opposes the direction of the applied voltage. Let's consider a scenario where, at no load on the secondary side, the main flux is 50 Weber. When a load is connected to the secondary side, current begins to flow through the secondary winding generating a magnetic flux in the core known as the secondary flux. Suppose this secondary flux is 25 Weber under a certain load. According to Lenz's law, this secondary flux interacts with the primary flux and opposes it. As a result, the main flux weakens due to the opposing secondary flux, which leads to a reduction in the primary back EMF. With the reduction in back EMF, the potential difference across the primary winding increases. This causes the current in the primary winding to rise, which in turn strengthens the main flux to counter the secondary flux. As a result, the main flux increases to 75 Weber. However, despite these changes, the net flux in the core remains constant at 50 Weber throughout the entire range from no load to full load operation. The magnitude of the secondary flux depends on the load on the secondary side. If the load increases, the secondary current, and thus the secondary flux increases. This can lead to a greater opposing magnetic field that affects the primary flux. This effect is balanced because the transformer is designed to maintain a steady total magnetic flux, no matter the load. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated.